Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my collection of all my manga. So all 1300 volumes I think I have right now. Before I do that, I'm just going to bring up some things that I was thinking about when I was deciding to make this video um, that I wanted to mention to you. So one, you will see that I own a lot of books that I haven't read. And it's not because I buy books just to own them. I do plan on reading every single series in my collection eventually. I just like having a really big backlog so I will never run out of things to read. And I also tend to prefer to read entire series at once. So you'll see that I've only read five volumes of Golden Kamui, but I own like 20 volumes. That's because I'm waiting until the series ends and then I will read it all at once. And I do that with a lot of series. So you'll see that I own entire series that I haven't read yet. That's for a reason. And it's because I do like to own entire series in my backlog so I can just start a series, finish it, and not have to worry about collecting the next volumes in the series or stopping at an awkward point. But other than that, the only other logistical thing to mention is that I have this shelf behind me, one shelf over there, shelves in the closet, and then my One Piece shrine, um, which you'll probably have to wait until the end of the video to see why I call it a shrine. Um, but yeah, that shelf also houses my Japanese volumes. Oh, also, there is no real organization process here. It's just what my brain decided needs to go there. Um, I know some people organize their um, collection by size. Um, some of mine is by size. In fact, most of it is by size in general. But mine is just wherever it fits on the shelf. It's not by alphabetical order. It's not even really by genre. It's just that looks good on the shelf there. So, yeah. Uh, my The shelves in my closet house series that really aren't going to change very much. Usually they're completed series. Um, I think I've read about 75% of the ones in my closet, so it's not going to change too much. But other than that, I think the only organization um, process that goes on here is what looks good on the shelves and what I decide needs to go where it is. But yeah, I think I'm going to start in the closet because uh, I have the most to say about that. And then, yeah, I have lots to talk about. So let's get started. So here are what the shelves in my closet look like. It is very cramped in here, so it's going to be kind of difficult to show you. I don't think I can fit my tripod in here, um, but I will go through each series that I own. And yeah, if the lighting in here is bad, I apologize. It is a very small closet and I can barely stand in here. So um, in the back there, we have Toriko, volumes 1 through 43, I think, is the end of that series. Um, I've read about 20 volumes of this, and I've been meaning to complete it for a long time. I was waiting for the final volume to come out, but the final volume came out, like, three years ago. So I should really get on that and finish reading Toriko. Next over there is Spirit Circle. That's volumes 1 through 6 complete. I have finished that. That's a really good series. Um, not many people talk about it, but it is a little bit more hyped than people think it is. Um, I do, I think that is one of the most satisfying manga endings I've ever read. Um, so yeah. Next over there is Banana Fish, volumes 1 through 19. I've also read that. I have not seen the anime. I kind of want to, but also, um, I've had enough sadness already, so that's fine the way it is. This is Case Closed, volumes 1 through 25, and then I think that last one is like 63 or something. I think I got that when Barnes & Noble was still doing their Manga Mondays for half off, and I got one of those for some random reason. I don't know why. But the rest of it, I have not read. Um, I own it because I got it for really cheap on eBay. I think I got it for like $2 a piece. Um, and I had recently heard someone talk about it, and it sounded like I wanted to read that, and then I didn't yet. Uh, so yeah. Next is Nabari no O, volumes 1 through 14 over there. I've read two of those. Um, I really like this author's other work, um, Our Dreams at Dusk. So I bought that, and I will read it soon. There is literally cat hair on my manga. <laughs> uh, speaking of cats, here's Nyankees. That's volumes 1 through 6 complete. I really like Nyankees. It was very surprising. So it's about personified cats. So the cats are drawn as like gangsters or whatever. And it's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, next, another surprising uh, pretty good series is Itsu Aribito, volumes 1 through 23. That's a complete series. I recently read this and I really hadn't heard anything about this before I bought it. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty good little shonen series, and I like it. It has everything I want in a shonen series, so, yeah. Speaking of everything I want in a shonen series, here's Slam Dunk. I love Slam Dunk. I recently talked about Slam Dunk. Uh, Slam Dunk is one of my favorite things ever. It's my second favorite manga. Um, definitely my favorite sports manga. 
Uh, it beats out Haikyuu just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, I love Slam Dunk, and if you can buy it and it sounds of interest to you, please buy it because it's so good. <laughs> Also, people complain about the ending of Slam Dunk. Uh, I love the ending of Slam Dunk, but I feel like that's a theme for me. A lot of the times when people are complaining about the ending of a series, I tend to like it. Which is good for me, actually, because I prefer to like a series than not like a series. Also, if you're wondering about the bags on some of my manga and not others, I used to bag my manga like three years ago, but it became too tedious and I own too much manga to do it anymore, so I don't bother with that anymore. Is this better without the light? It is better without the light. Oh, no, I'm sad. Oh, well. <laughs> Next over here is Yu Yu Hakusho, Volumes 1 through 19. I told you, most of the series in the closet I have read. I've read Yu Yu Hakusho. I like Yu Yu Hakusho. Probably not as much as some people, but it's pretty good. It's probably the only work by Yoshihiro T Tagashi I will read, because I'm not going to read Hunter x Hunter. I will just watch the anime for that. I'm staying as far away from the manga as possible, just because... It's never going to end. <laughs> so I'd rather not start a series I know is not going to end, although that rule is going to change later. You'll see. Next is Hikaru no Go, volumes 1 through 23, complete. I've also read that. I think I read most of it on the Shonen Jump app. Um, this is a series I do dislike the ending for. It just needed like one or two more chapters to wrap everything up cleanly. Then I probably would have liked it. Uh, it just feels like it ends in literally in the middle. <laughs> middle in the middle of the plot, it feels like it ends. And yeah, just like one or two volumes would have made this a uh, pretty much perfect series. But the rest of it, I really like. Uh, I feel like I need to reread that soon. <laughs> Next is number six, volumes one through nine. This is also complete. I read this a long time ago, and I barely remember anything about it. Uh, but I remember it being okay, I think. Um, that's probably one I could sell pretty soon but for now it stays there on the next row we have blade of the immortal volumes 1 through 10 in the omnibus editions uh that's complete i have not read any blade of the immortal <laughs> uh yeah but i am glad i own these because people are having a hard time finding some of the volumes and i'm not because i own them all uh so yeah i will read that soon and i say soon it could be another two years from now but yeah over there we have summit of the gods volumes 1 through 5 complete as you can see, I got these from Half Price Books, and I haven't even taken the stickers off yet. Um, I think I got four of these volumes from Half Price Books, and the other one from Amazon, probably. Um, but yeah, people have a hard time finding this as well. I have not read that, but it's I think it's about mountain climbing, and that's good. So I will read it soon. <laughs> Next is Girls' Last Tour, volumes 1 through 6, complete. I love this series a lot. It really surprised me. Um, that's another series where I can see people complaining about the ending, but I really, really like the ending, and it could have just been the mood I was in, but I really liked the ending of that series. Uh, Children of the Sea, volumes 1 through 5, I have not finished that yet, or started it. I have not read that series yet, um, but it's complete. Over there in the corner, it's really hard to see. I don't want to take all these out because there's really no place to put them, um, but that's, again, volumes 1 through 12 complete. I like that series. I think it went on a little bit too long, but for the most part, it was pretty good. I really like the main character and his beautiful hair. Here, I'll pull this out for you. Like, come on. Look at that beautiful hair. Perfect. Then we have volumes 1 through 23 of Doro Hey Doro. That's also complete. I love Doro Hey Doro, and seriously, some of the best characters I've ever read. I love them all. This is hilarious. It's super gory, which is fine with me, um, and I love it. It did get a little bit confusing at some parts, but I got through it, and I don't know what goes on in the ending. I don't understand, but it's fine <laughs> um, because the rest of it is so good that I don't care. Also, I can't wait for uh, Kyu Hayashida's next work, Die Dark, which should be coming out pretty soon here. It's going to be released by Seven Seas, so yeah. Next is One Week Friends, lines 1 through 7. I read that a while ago. Uh, not that long ago, and I really don't remember anything about it. I think it was fine. I think I'm probably going to be selling those volumes pretty soon here. Next is Monster, volumes 1 through 9, complete. I've read all that. I like it. I do have a little bit of an issue with the ending. I feel like all I'm talking about in this video are the endings of these manga. But uh, for the most part, Monster is really, really good. I do think it went on a tiny bit too long. There could have been some stuff in the middle cut out because it is kind of episodic. Um... 
but for the most part it's pretty good and i like it a lot and i will reread it in the future so we have the osami tezuka story uh that's i bought that for some reason on right stuff i don't remember why but i do want to read it because i want to learn more about osami tezuka next we have show whoops i can't talk next we have showa um this is a history of japan it's all four volumes by shigeru mizuki um this just feels like a really interesting way to learn about japan so I bought these and I have not read them yet, but I will. Uh, this is nonfiction and I don't know if I've read a nonfiction manga. You'll see another one here in a second that I also haven't read. But uh, yeah, I would like to read that and see the history of Japan because I don't think I've ever actually even looked into the history of Japan too much. Next is Real Volumes 1 through 14, another fantastic basketball series by Takiko Inoue. You can really tell how much Takiko Inoue loves basketball by reading Slam Dunk and Real. Um, if you want my honest opinion, I think that's why Vagabond is on hiatus forever, is because he realized that he really only wants to write about basketball. And that's fine with me, because I love his basketball series, and I haven't read Vagabond yet. This is volumes 1 through 14 of What Did You Eat Yesterday? I have nothing to say about that yet, because I haven't read it. I actually own a couple Fumi Yoshinaga series that I haven't read. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I have reasons for that, and it's fine. Next is volumes 1 through 15 of Silver Spoon Complete. I love Silver Spoon. I love Silver Spoon. Uh, it's just fantastic and surprisingly emotional, but also very funny. Uh, right there, being covered up by a squirrel, is Skullface Bookseller Honda San Volumes 1 through 4 Complete. I haven't read that yet. I think it's a four panel manga, um, but it's a comedy manga. I bought that when the anime was airing, I think, at least the first volume, and it was funny. And then I didn't read the manga yet, but I will. This right here is the other nonfiction manga I own. This is Blank Canvas, um, My So-Called Artist's Journey, Volumes 1 through 5. This is also complete. I also have not read it. <laughs> Next is Saturn Apartments, Volumes 1 through 7. Uh, this one has is wrapped for a reason, and that's because it's very out of print, and people want to own it, and I own it, and I really like it for the most part. I th think that one's due for a reread as well. Um, it is kind of slow and very much a slice-of-life series, but... The setting that it takes place in outer space and then the characters that it explores are really interesting to me. So I have that. Pluto volumes 1 through 8 complete. Uh, this is, I think I like this a tad bit more than Monster. But also I really love any series that has to do with robots or androids or AI or cyborgs in some way. I find the ethics and the exploration of those ethics to be incredibly fascinating. So that's probably why I like Pluto a little bit more. Um, also it's interesting to see the Astro Boy story that I have not read. It is really hard to film in here because it's very cramped, but this is House of Five Leaves, Volumes 1 through 8 complete. Um, I have also read Not Simple by Natsume Ono. I think I like Not Simple a little bit more because I don't know what's going on in Not Simple, but it is very sad. <laughs> um, and then House of Five Leaves is pretty good. Uh, I think there were some parts in the middle that I was like, eh, about, but for the most part, it's pretty good. I really like that it's about samurai because, I don't know, I like reading about samurai. Um, over here is Seven Little Sons of the Dragon. This is a short story collection. I believe this is by the same author as um, uh, Delicious in Dungeon, which I did not particularly enjoy, but this is a short series, and it seems to be about dragons. A short story collection, sorry, and it seems to be about dragons, uh, which sounds fine to me. So, <laughs> I haven't read that yet, though. Next is The Golden Sheep Volumes 1 through 3. I read that recently. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, not much else to say. It's about friendship, which lots of the series I like are about friendship. <laughs> um, and then volumes 1 through 8 of Arakawa Under the Bridge, who's the vertical omnibus editions. I think they're the only editions that exist. But uh, yeah, I haven't read that yet either, but it's a comedy manga I'm pretty sure I will like. So that is everything in the closet. Uh, it is very hard to show you all of everything in here without showing you my messy closet and that one hanger that exists in here. Um, but next we'll move on to the main shelf um, so not the one that you see behind me, but the shelf that is the most prevalent, uh, in my room. It's the easiest one to see. Uh, so yeah. Up here at the very top of the shelf, I still can't use a tripod because it is too tall. Um, but I have Vinland Saga Volumes 1 through 11 over here in the fancy hardcover editions. I have not read Volume 11 for some reason yet. I should really get on that. But I've kind of been waiting for the next Omnibus to come out so I can read them both at once. Um, but who knows when that one's going to come out. It keeps getting pushed back. So for now, this sits on the TBR list. 
Next is St. Young Men, volumes one through four. Have I read those yet? No, I have not. Um, but it sounds like something I'd like because it sounds funny. Next is Bacchanal, volumes one through 15 of the light novels. I'm missing volume four and volume six because Yen Press cannot keep their light novels in print for some reason. Um, I have not read these yet either. I bought them on a whim. Um, it was kind of a FOMO situation because I was afraid they were all going to go out of print. Um, so I managed to get volume two just before it became harder to find. But uh, yeah, I will read these soon. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for Yen Press to figure out that they need to reprint their older books so people can keep buying them. Um, but I can access these in a Kindle version. I can buy volume four and volume six in a Kindle version, which I will do if I have to in order to read the series, but they will get read eventually. And over here, I have the Full Metal Alchemist hardcover editions, volumes one through 12 at this moment, along with the little four panel uh, collection. Um, I have not read Full Metal Alchemist, but I've watched both versions of the anime and I like both versions of the anime. And I think this is a great way to collect the series. I used to own the box set, but I got rid of that when this one came out because I'd rather own these because they're prettier. Next is Blue Period Volumes 1 through 2. I haven't read that yet, but I'm sure I will like it. And then Zionara Football Volumes 1 through 3. This is by the author of Your Lie in April, which I really do not like, but it's a girls soccer manga, uh, which I want to read. So I have it. I feel like the lighting I'm using is too harsh, but this is Demon Slayer Volumes 1 through 20, which is all that's out right now with my favorite Hashira out in front, Uzui, and then my favorite character, Denya. Um, I love Demon Slayer, and I really don't care what anyone else has to say about it. I love it to death. Next over here is To Your Eternity, Volumes 1 through 13. I think I have Volume 14 um, on pre-order, but that will probably be the last volume of this I will own for a while because I really, really like the beginning part, and I don't understand whatever the heck is going on after Volume 12, but yeah. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it gets better, but we'll see. Next, after we move Sanji, uh, I have Land of the Lustrous, Volumes 1 through 10. Uh, I don't know what Kodansha is doing. Uh, they're, they're just sitting on Volume 11, and I don't know why I'm complaining about this, but Kodansha confuses me sometimes with their publishing behavior. Uh, but I've only read four, five, four volumes of this, but I really like it. And this is one where I was trying to wait for more volumes to come out so I can read the whole thing at once but Kodansha is doing strange things. So I don't know when I will get to that, but it will happen, I promise. Over here is Phantom Tales of the Night, volumes one through two. I actually uh, won those two volumes in a giveaway on Yen Press's Twitter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was also with another volume I'll show later, I'm sure, um, which that is the one I wanted. And then I got these two as well. I will read that eventually. Uh, it's just, I don't, uh, I'm not that interested. Although the covers, are very, very interesting. Uh, they're very pretty. Um, so yeah. Next is Beastars. I haven't read that yet because I'm waiting for all the volumes to come out, but uh, that might not, that, I don't think that's gonna happen for like two years. So we'll see what happens with this. I really don't want to start reading it until, I don't know. I don't like waiting two months for manga to come out for me to read the next volume. But uh, yeah, Beastars. It looks cool. I know I will like it, because I've heard my roommate talk about it and other people talk about it, I know I will like it. Uh, but for now, it says unread on the shelf, um, except for we're gonna look at this cool panda guy that's smoking a cigarette. Okay, I can finally use my tripod because it's not too tall anymore. So this is Children of the Whales. Oopsies, I moved the tripod. Uh, Children of the Whales, volumes one through 16. I've read five of those volumes, um, but I keep buying them because the covers are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, I did like what I read and I will do that thing where I wait for more volumes to come out. And I don't know how long the series is in Japan, um, but I'm hoping it ends soon so I can read it. <laughs> uh, next is Inside Mari volumes one through six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I haven't read that either. I bought that because I kind of liked happiness, uh, but this sounds interesting. And I do want to get into more of Shuzo Oshimi's works, so I bought that one. Over here we have Jujutsu Kaisen, volumes 0 through 8. Uh, I think I will buy one more volume of this because I like the cover of volume 9, and then I will stop buying it for a while until I can figure out what is going on in Jujutsu Kaisen, because I'm confused and apparently a bad manga reader. Uh, but I just don't understand what's going on in the series. Um, I did like it, 
but like I literally don't remember any of the characters names. Uh, I once did a Jujutsu Kaisen character quiz and I couldn't remember the main character's name. So I'm a very bad manga reader apparently. And then next uh, right there we have Chainsaw Man volumes 1 through 3 with best girl power in the front because I would die for her. And Zoro is in the way this time so we have Mob Psycho 100 volumes 1 through 5. Uh, I don't have volume 6 yet because I'm waiting for a Dark Horse sale on Right Stuff to get the next volume. I also have not read that um, or watched the anime. So why am I buying that? Uh, I don't know. It sounds cool. I've heard really good things about the anime and my roommate talks about it all the time. Uh, so yeah. And then we have Requiem of the Rose King, volumes 1 through 13. I bought this because it sounds like a shoujo I would like, um, and I haven't read it yet. But I think it's based on Shakespeare, so that sounds cool. Uh, I also have Usopp, Robin, and Frankie up in the front here making disgusted, beautiful faces. And over here I have The Promised Neverland, volumes 1 through 18, um, and then the Posca Demizu's art book, which is really, really beautiful. And then my Emma and Android in front. I also really like The Promised Neverland, and I don't care that it gets worse as it goes. Uh, Goldie Pond arc is amazing. I like it better than the first arc, and I'm very, very mad that the anime decided to skip it. I'm very mad. <laughs> okay, I decided to get rid of the tripod because it was uh, making this take longer than it is. Um, but, so this is Haikyuu Volumes 1 through 43 over there with Suki up front because he's my favorite. And then my Suki Android and my Bokutun Android. That is the little Haikyuu art book. Um, and then this is some random extra thing I got, I think, in a right stuff box that I put in there because it has Suki in the middle. Uh, yeah, I love Haikyuu to death. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, again, fantastic ending to this manga. I love it a lot. Here is Yona of the Dawn, volumes 1 through 28. I believe that's up to date. I have volume 12 out front because it's very pretty. I think I've read 13 volume of this, volumes of this, and I really like it. Um, I just haven't picked it up in a while because when I read that volume, uh, that was the last one that was out. And like I said before, I don't like waiting for volumes to come out. So I just sit and uh, not read it until there's lots more to read. Now there is lots more to read, uh, but I haven't yet. <laughs> the rest of this shelf down here is all my LGBT manga, um, so I will go through it all right now there are lots of series here um that one is beauty and the beast girl i have not read that yet but i don't know sounds fun uh even eve is a science fiction one i believe i also haven't read that yet or mushroom girls in love listen i just buy all the yuri manga that seven seas puts out okay um but next to that is kase-san the kase-san series volumes one through six this is my favorite yuri manga i love this to death and i'm ruining the lighting in the shot but uh, yeah, I love everything about this. I like how you see them in high school and then also into adulthood. Um, and I just really like their relationship. Uh, and then Conditions of Paradise, volumes 1 through 3, I have not read that yet. Road Queen, I don't think this is even a manga technically, but it's published by Seven Seas. And, uh, so I put it here. <laughs> Next is Claudine. Um, this is about a trans man. I have not read this yet either. Uh, I don't know why. I just haven't. I think... This is by the same author as Rose of Versailles, right? I believe that's true. I don't know what the name of this series is, but I've read all three of them. They are, uh, I don't want to say dark because it's not, oh yeah, I, this is a nonfiction I've read. Um, anyway, I don't want to say this is dark, but I don't know, it's a lot to deal with sometimes. <laughs> um, but it is very, like, real and raw. Uh, so yeah, I really like that series. The Ride Was a Boy, actually this is another nonfiction. I've read more nonfiction manga than I think, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty good. It's okay. Um, Siraz and Mai, uh, volumes one and two of the novel, and then the spinoff with, uh, the two cops. I don't remember what their names are. <laughs> oh, it literally says their names right there. Rayo and Mabu. Um, yeah, I will read these once I actually finish watching Siraz and Mai. But I've watched three episodes, and that was enough for me to realize that I will love it. And, yeah, so I should really, really watch it. Blue Flag, volumes one through six. Uh, I love this series to death. And, again, the ending of this is good. And I kind of judge people when they say that the ending is bad. Uh, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, next is My Brother's Husband, Volumes 1 through 2. Very, very, very good. I think this is the only manga that has made me cry. Uh, volume 1 of this manga, or one of the hardcover manga, uh, made me cry. A lot. <laughs> uh, After Hours, Volumes 1 through 3. That's okay. Uh, the ending is interesting. Uh, that Blue Sky Feeling has some problematic elements that I don't really like, but for the most part, it is. Um, our dining table is pretty good. 
Uh, I like it, that one, actually, a lot. Uh, Classmates, volumes one through three, is fine. I don't think I'm going to collect the rest of the volumes that come out. I think there's two more. Um, I think those are spinoffs, though. I'm not going to buy those. Uh, I have some problems with Classmates, but whatever. I like the movie better. Aimless Asterism, volumes one through five. I honestly don't even know what this is about, and it probably doesn't go in the direction I want it to, but I have collected that for a long time. I feel like there was like a year and a half wait between volumes four and volume five. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but I will read that eventually. I don't know when. <laughs> um, Hana and Hina After School, that's another one I haven't read. I bought that because it's by Milk Morinaga, right? Milk Morinaga, sorry. Um, and I've heard that she's a very good eerie author, so that's why I have that. Bloom and Tew is probably my second favorite eerie manga. Uh, the middle part gets a little, little murky for me, but the beginning, the beginning and the end are fantastic. And yeah, I really like that, especially its exploration of aromantic uh, identity. And then I also have the light novels focusing on Psyche, which I have not read yet, but I will, uh, because I really, really like Psyche's character. Over there is I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up, because that sounds hilarious, uh, and I have not read that yet either. <laughs> um, Argent at Dusk is a fantastic series. Um, I really, really like that a lot. There's, I mean, there's not much else to say. It, the, the themes it explores... The characters are fantastic, um, just about finding yourself, so it's really good. Oh, also, found family trope is one of my favorite things, and this is basically found family, the manga. So, yeah, I had to love it, obviously. And then I've run out of room on this shelf, actually, so I have to put these ones in front before I figure out what I'm doing here. Um, but I have Goodbye My Rose Garden, volumes 1 through 3. That's the complete series. I bought those recently. I have not read them. haven't read this yet, either. Uh, I'm not even sure. I believe... This is going to be a Yuri manga, so that's why it's on the shelf. I'm not 100% sure, but I heard that, which is honestly the reason I bought it. Love Me For Who I Am, volumes 1 through 2. I haven't read that yet, but I've heard very good things. Um, Our Teachers Are Dating, haven't read that yet. Uh, Days of Love at Seagull Villa, haven't read that yet. A Wise Room in Bloom, haven't read that yet. Um, these last couple I got during the recent uh, Seven Seas sale at Right Stuff. Um, and yeah, I just haven't read any of them yet because I just buy all the Yuri manga that Seven Seas puts out. And then down there I have Hungry For You, Endo Yasuko start, uh, Stocks the Night. That's a two-volume complete Yuri manga about vampires that I also have not read yet, even though I've owned that forever. I've owned that for a very long time. Um, I've just heard very bad things, so I'm kind of hesitant to read it. Uh, but I should just read it because, I don't know, it's, it's about vampires, so. I don't know, I don't even like vampires that much, but, uh, Dracula's fun. <laughs> Uh, over there I have Seven Days. I haven't read that yet either. Given, volumes 1 through 5. I have not read that yet, but I have watched the anime, which also made me cry. Uh, so yeah. And then I have Girlfriends, volumes 1 through 2 of the Omnibus Editions. This is a complete series. This is also by Mel Morinaga, which is why I bought it. I've also heard very, very good things about this, um, but I haven't read it yet, even though I've owned it for a very long time. <laughs> Go for it, Nakamura is fine, it's cute, whatever. Total Eclipse of the Eternal Heart is more of a thriller than a BL. The BL aspects of it are actually not very good. But uh, the thriller part is interesting. It's very dark. <laughs> um, I Hear the Sunspot. This is, I think, I don't know if the third volume of Limit is going to be the last one or not. Um, I really, really like this series. It's just the miscommunication is off the charts. So it is a little bit frustrating for me to read, but for the most part, I really like it. Um, this uh, series has a deaf character, or a hard of hearing character, sorry. Um, and then I Cannot Reach You, Volume 1. That's a new release by Yen Press that I have not read. Okay, down here it is very hard to film, and I'm going to guess the lighting is going to get progressively worse as I do this. But yeah, Kumamiko, Volumes 1 through 4. Uh, I think I got those at Half Price Books. I haven't read those yet. Um, Blood on the Tracks, Volumes 1 through 3. I bought these because I heard good things about them, and it's also by Shuzo Oshimi. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't read that yet either. <laughs> I will get to that. I just feel like this is a series that I have to wait on because I think there's going to be, like, cliffhangers and stuff. So I will wait on those. Uh, Fairy Tale, 100 Years Quest, Volume 1. Listen, listen, I really like Fairy Tale. <laughs> I know, objectively, Fairy Tale, not very good. But guess what? It's a fun time, and I love the characters. So, yeah, people also complain about the uh, power of friendship in Fairy Tale, Guess what? I love power friendship stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the, like, follow-up to Fairy Tale. It's, like, the, um, the following. So what happens after the main series, it's, like, a spin-off. The story's by the main author, but the art is different, even though it looks very, very, very similar. 
um, especially as it goes. I've only read the first couple chapters. I think I read it on the Crunchyroll app when it was... I don't remember. I've definitely read the first couple chapters, I'm pretty sure, on the Crunchyroll app if it was there. Um, but yeah, I I kind of want to buy this. <laughs> I don't know. There's issues I have with some of the things that happened in the last chapter uh, that I'm worried about for reading the rest of this, but I do really like Fairy Tale, and I miss Grey, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Then I have Fairy Tale Zero, which is like a prequel to Fairy Tale. It's pretty good. Um, I think I watched it, that they uh, adapt that into the anime too. So I've read that. And then Rod and Knight. Uh, this is volume two of like the Fairy Tale spinoffs thing. I don't know. It's about Gajiel and Levy, uh, who I like a lot. Um, and then Fairy Tale Ice Trail. That's about Grey. Uh, he's my favorite character. So I bought that. And I think it's pretty good. I don't know. It's been a long time since I read Fairy Tale. Um, I own all of the volumes uh, digitally. Um, I got them through, like, a Humble Bundle deal, so I own them all digitally. I used to own them all physically, but I sold them off a while ago because, as much as I like it, uh, there's not enough room on my shelves for a series that I probably, well, that I own digitally, so I don't need physically. Anyway, enough about fairy tale. This is Ascendance of a Bookworm. Um, these are the light novels. I heard good things about the anime, so I bought this on Right Stuff, probably, during one of their big sales. Um, I... I'm kind of confused about how this goes. <laughs> so if anyone wants to tell me, uh, like, what the part part one and part two, like, yeah, I know, part one comes before part two, obviously, but are there only three volumes of part one? I'm pretty sure there are. How many volumes of part two are there? I don't know. Uh, so I haven't read that yet. Also, I haven't read, read At Night I Become a Monster yet. This is by the same author as I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, I think, which was okay. I don't own that anymore. Um, and then Perfect Blue... Uh, I haven't read that yet either. And then I recently bought these, and I, by recently I mean a couple months ago. So this is volumes 1 through 10 of Descending Stories, and volumes 1 through 8 of A Maidens in Your Savage season, season. I haven't read either of these yet. I have watched the first episode of the anime for this series probably four times, and I just haven't get, gotten any farther than that, even though I really do think it's very interesting. Um, but I think my best bet to actually completing the series is to read the manga. Become You, Volume 1. Why did I buy this? Because it has a guy with a guitar on it in the front. That's why I bought it. Have I read it yet? No, because I don't know when the second volume is going to come out. So I don't want to get invested in something that's never going to be completed. Uh, I say that as I keep getting invested in things that are never going to be completed. Anyway, oopsies. Blue Giant. Funny story about this. Um, I requested that Seven Seas license this years ago. And I requested it on like their survey thing a couple times. Because uh, it's about jazz. And I don't know. I like manga um about music and anime about music so i requested this because i heard very good things about it and i wanted to read it and then they licensed it not that long ago and i was very surprised because i hadn't requested it in a long time uh but look here it is i contributed to this you can thank me later prince freya volumes one through four i bought that because i'm trying to branch out into shoujo and that sounds like one i could like um, Dawn of the Arcana, volumes 1 through 5, I haven't read those yet. I kind of want to buy the whole thing, but also I've heard very good things, or very bad things about that. Well, not very bad things. I've heard some bad things about that. Um, so, but I also don't want to read, like, five volumes and then not read the rest. So, yeah, we'll see. The Legend of Dororo and Hyakimaru, volumes 1 through 2. I watched part of the anime for Dororo, um, and I want to finish it, but can somebody let me know if I need to have read Dororo or like watch the anime before I can read this or is this like a separate story I'm not sure if someone could tell me that'd be cool next is the girl from the other side volumes one through nine uh I'm kind of scared of the series I have read five volumes of this but I've also read other works by this author and I did not like them I did not like the direction they went at all so I'm kind of afraid of the ending of this but hopefully everything is fine <laughs> I hope uh, and then over there, I saw to go and not about these one through four. That's a complete series. Um, uh, yeah, I like that series. I haven't finished it yet. I'm going to read the next two or the last two volumes uh, this month. Over here is Ajin volumes one through fifteen. Volume sixteen is out. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm waiting for probably a vertical sale on Right Stuff to get the rest of that. Uh, but yeah, I really like the series. The antagonist is pretty cool. Um, that's Facebook of Friends volumes one through ten. I really wish this fit here, but it doesn't. Yeah, I haven't read this either. I've heard very good things. Again, this is a shoujo I thought I'm pretty sure I will like, or at least I think I will like, and I want to read more shoujo because I don't read enough of it. Um, so yeah, I have this. I have recently heard it's kind of episodic though, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I will read it at some point. And I'm not going to buy any more of this until I read it. Uh, this is the last shelf uh, on this shelf. <laughs> um, so this is the bottom layer. 
So first I have Tropic of the Sea. Um, that was okay. Um, Opus is okay. Uh, I do really like the ending and how kind of meta it is and then meta on top of meta. Battle Royale Angel's Border. I will not read that until I read the novel, which I own and I have owned for a long time and I have not read yet, but it will happen. In Iyashiki Volume 1, I'm probably going to get rid of that because I like the anime and I don't feel the need to watch the manga or read the manga. I can talk. Um, Nekugahara Volumes 1 through 5. I read Volume 1 and it was surprisingly good. And apparently I'm just trying to collect uh, manga about cats. Oh, I also have this random volume of Astro Boy, Volume 9. I think I got that in a giveaway. Uh, in fact, I know I got this in a giveaway. This is what I like to call um, the Seven Seas Did This to Me uh, section of my shelf. So I have Sir Vamp, Volumes 1 through 13. This is about vampires, I think, or also other demon things. I don't know. Why did I buy this? Probably because this guy has long hair. That's probably it, okay? I don't know why I bought that. But I will read it because I bought it. So, yeah. Um, Wanna and the Dragon Newts, Seven Kingdoms. Um, this looks interesting. It's only uh, three volumes. So, yeah. I haven't read that yet either. And then we have Merman in my tub. <laughs> volumes one through seven listen it's about mermaids so why not <laughs> i think i got these off of book outlet like years ago and then uh every now and then when i need i want to make a seven seas order on right stuff um but i need like one more volume to get free shipping i add in like a volume of merman in my tub or sir vamp and then i have free shipping and that's how i get 13 volumes of a vampire manga i haven't read and seven volumes of merman uh yeah Seraph of the End, Volumes 1 through 6. I will not collect any more of that until I read more of it. I think I've read two volumes of that. Um, and I will read more on the Shonen Jump app uh, when I, if I get past Volume 6. Real Account, Volume 1. I heard something about this that made me buy it. Um, but I will not collect more of that until I read that volume. Because this one, I don't know. I might like it, I might not. Uh, and then... Um, Monthly Girls Nozaki Hoon. I almost said the Japanese <laughs> name for that. Um, I like the anime a lot. I haven't read the manga. I think it's a four panel though. So, yeah. Down here, I have Devilman. Um, the classic collection for Moir and Devilman vs. Hades. Have I read those yet? No. Um, and then I have Blue Exorcist Volumes 1, 2, 4, and 8. I don't remember how I got. I think maybe half price books, maybe? Um, but yeah, I don't remember how I got these random volumes, but I have them. And that was the end of that shelf. So now we have the shelf I stand in front of in my videos. Um, again, these are going to be a lot of manga I haven't read. Um, but yeah, let's get started up here with Vagabond. I have not read Vagabond yet. I'm not waiting for it to come off of hiatus because it's never going to come off of hiatus, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I am really interested in reading this because Takiko Inoue's art style is amazing. And I loved um, the other two series I read by him, so I'd like to read this one um, when I can get to it. This is Oku, Volumes 1 through 14. Guess what? I haven't read it yet. That's the other series by Fum Fumi Yoshinaga I haven't read yet. Um, but it is ending at Volume 19, I think. So I will buy those and then read the whole series when I get it. In this corner of the world, that's a one-volume uh, complete story. I think it's set in World War II, which is why I haven't read it yet. I need to be in a certain frame of mind to read World War II stories. Uh, next is BL Metamorphosis Volume 1 through 3. As soon as I get the fourth and last volume, I will read all that. I'm pretty sure I will like it. Uh, next, I have Pink, Enclosed Called Fat, and then Helter Skelter. Um, I should put this one next to this one because they're by the same author. Um, but, uh, yeah, I haven't read those yet. But I will. <laughs> uh, they're all still wrapped in plastic, obviously. Uh, Solonin, I think this is the only manga by Ennio Asano I still own. I've read Goodnight Poon Poon, I don't own it anymore because, mm, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I thought Solonin was good enough for me to keep it, so I have that one, and that's the only one I have. I probably won't buy Downfall, I'm not interested in, in some of his other ones. Um, I've heard good things about, uh, Dead Dead Demons, but uh, I'll have to read some very specific reviews to see if I like that. Um, and then I have Planetez over here, um, also by Makoto Yukimura. Um, yeah, I really like Planetez. I have read that one. <laughs> um, and I do really, really like that. Uh, the character explanations, or I mean explorations, are really interesting. Um, then I have Evangelion. Have I read that? Nope. 
um, but uh, I'm really glad I own it because people are having a hard time finding it. I'm sure it'll come back into print very soon. And then Love Yous over there is another series that's about like cyborgs or robots or something. So that's why I bought it because yeah. Also, it's in a really big hardcover um, edition that makes the art really pop. Sorry for hitting the camera. Oops. There you go. It's really cool. Then over here, this is my horror manga shelf. I don't know why Sanji uh, guards the horror manga shelf. I have lots of uh, One Piece figures <laughs> um, and they don't fit on my shrine, so I have to put them other places. So here is my Junji Ito collection. I have all of them except for um, No Longer Human, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the only one I'm missing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one I'm missing right now. Um, so Dissolving Classroom is not very good. Uh, Cat Diary is very good and hilarious and um, heartfelt. So I really like that one. Uzumaki, haven't read it. Tomie, I haven't read it. Gil, I did not like very much, except for the uh, short stories in the back of the book are very good. Um, Shiver, short stories, really good. Smashed, haven't read those short stories. Frankenstein is Frankenstein. I haven't read it yet. Remina, I actually read uh, pretty recently and I wasn't liking it. And then I thought of it as like a really trippy nightmare and then I liked it again. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. Maybe I should think of all of Junji Ito's stories as like really trippy nightmares and then I will like them. Venus in the Blind Spot I haven't read yet, and then Fragments of Horror I have read, and it was pretty good. And here I have The Drifting Classroom. Did I call that Dissolving Classroom or Drifting Classroom? I don't remember. I always get these two confused, even though I know what their titles are. Um, I have not read this yet. I was really interested in it when it was in like the singular, um, just regular volume format, but it was out of print. Um, and then they released this, and I just haven't read it yet, but I think the spines look really, really cool, and I do want to read it. Um, Ibitsu, this is the other manga I won from a Yen Press giveaway on Twitter, and it's, it's something. <laughs> it's something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, The Kingdom of the Gods, this is a manhwa. I have not read that yet. And I keep thinking it's just called Kingdom, which is not true. Uh, Kingdom is a different manga. Utsubora, the story of a novelist, is very interesting. I don't think I liked it when I read it, but the more I think about it, the more I like it. And I think that definitely deserves a reread pretty soon because you definitely need to read it a couple times to fully understand it, I think. Um, and Portis, I don't think I like this very much, but it reminds me of like creepypasta I read when I was like 11. So that's why I still own this. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a one volume little thing. So yeah, it's about like if you, you, there's like this game and playing the game either makes you kill yourself or you die in the game or something. Anyway, yeah, like creepypasta basically. Here's my Tayo Matsumoto section. I have Ping Pong. Uh, I have not read that yet, but it's a sports manga, so I'm sure I will like it. This is why I don't mind buying things I haven't read yet, because I know I will like it. <laughs> uh, Cats of the Louvre, I also haven't read that, read that yet, but uh, look at the spine. This is one of my favorite spines in my collection. Just these weird hetero heterochromic heterochromatic that's how you say that word heterochromatic eyes staring back at you uh yeah and i've heard actually really good things about that and then i have sunny volume seven through six i have read that and i really really like it um it's sad but also just like the character exploration is really good and then i have zoro who is also blocking things over here next is a bride story volumes one through eight i bought these during right stuff sale i think and i am very very interested in it i think the Art is absolutely beautiful, like everybody else who sees this. The art is fantastic. Um, and it is a romance series, which I usually don't reach for, but I've heard very good things about this, so I will try it. Um, I think this is a seinen. People keep saying it's a jose, but I think it's a seinen. Um, and then The Flowers of Evil, that's a complete series by Shuzo Oshimi. See, I have no, like, organization ideas, because <laughs> I have no organization system, because this is not with the other series it's just here because it fits there when I bought it. <laughs> Next, here's where the rest of my Naki Urasawa collection is. I could probably move Monster over here, but it's just easier to keep it where it is because it's not going to move. Um, but I have Mujirushi. This is a one volume um, little manga. It's fine. Uh, pretty good, actually. Sneeze is not very good, but whatever. <laughs> um, Asadora. Uh, I don't know anything about that. It's just a new Naki Urasawa, so I bought it. Master Keaton. Haven't read it yet, but I've heard good things. 20th Century Boys, haven't read it yet, but I've heard good things, and I will read it as soon as the last volume comes out, the 21st Century Boys omnibus volume. Um, then I have Hell's Paradise volumes 1 through 6. Pretty good series. Um, I'm excited to own the rest of it, so I can add it to my completed series list. 
Um, and then Golden Kamui, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, volumes 1 through 20, I think. Um, I This is the best foodie manga ever, and I've only read five volumes of it, and I know that. <laughs> Some of the most beautiful spines that I own, and also volumes not, volume not, volume nine's cover, I can talk, um, is beautifully pink. It matches my walls, so yeah. And then, uh, this is not with any other sports series. So I don't know why I put it here. Probably because it fit here. Um, I Show 21, Volumes 1 through 37. This is the series I'm currently reading. I'm on Volume 18. Um, and I'm enjoying it more now than I was at the beginning. At the beginning, it was just okay. Now I'm actually enjoying it. Although I do think the games go too fast. And I don't know what... Like, after Volume 17, I don't know how it can last 20 more volumes. But, okay, that's fine. I'll read more of it. <laughs> um... I definitely paid too much for this, um, however, I didn't want to deal with trying to track down volume 26 for not $950, so I pretty much paid a little under retail price for that series, in case you were wondering. Um, then I have Pandora Hearts volumes 1 through 24. I bought this before it went out of print, uh, and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> uh, I've read the first two volumes. And I think the reason I'm holding off on this is because the first two volumes took me about an hour of volume, which is a lot longer than it usually takes me to read manga. Um, and yeah, it wasn't unenjoyable. It just took me a very long time for some reason. Um, so I haven't read it yet. <laughs> uh, and then I have Black Torch volumes 1 through 5, which I talked about recently. I don't like it very much, and I'll be getting rid of that probably very soon. Okay, down here I have Noragami volumes 1 through 18. Yep, 18. I have not read any of Noragami, but I will not buy any more until I read this. Um, yeah. The Heroic Legend of Arslan, I've read five volumes of this. Um, I really like it. It was very interesting. But when I read it, there were only five volumes out. And then I did the thing where I collect it so I can read more, and then I just haven't read any more of it. Over here is legitimately one of my favorite manga. <laughs> and nobody ever talks about it. And that's okay. I'll just keep it all to myself. I just wish Kodansha would please finish... Please finish publishing this. Please. Just hurry up and finish it. There's only two more Omnibus volumes. Just do it, please. I wish they wouldn't take another year and a half in between each volume. But whatever. I will be patient as long as they all come out. Um, and then probably as soon as I uh, finish reading it, I will, or finish, as soon as it finishes publishing, I will uh, reread it because I really, really like it. It is seriously the manga that has made me laugh out the most. It made me laugh out loud the most. I really can't talk anymore. Yeah, the ending of the first arc was like amazing <laughs> and i'm probably overhyping that too much now but i don't care nobody reads that so i'm the only one who reads it so it's fine <laughs> um and then a silent voice volumes one through seven this is one of the first manga i owned i think it might have been the second one i owned but i don't own the first one anymore so i guess this is the oldest manga in my collection in terms of when i bought it um so yeah i love a silent voice i think that one's due for a reread pretty soon too then i have gunslinger girl volumes one through 15 complete uh, I really, really like Gunslinger Girl, and this is another one that I think is due for a reread pretty soon. Um, good luck finding this. I'm pretty sure a lot of these volumes are hard to find. Um, but, yeah, I got them for a pretty good deal, because I think when I started buying them, they were out of print, um, but they were just about to become hard to find, and I got, like, this one, I found this for, like, $10, and I think it, people were selling it for 100 and I found it for, like, 10 Um, but yeah. Next is Yatsuba volumes 1 through 13. I haven't read Yatsuba, but uh, I will, and I'm sure I will like it, because it's cute. Gintama, this is another one where I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to buy them when I wanted to read it. Um, so I bought all of them. It's 23 volumes in English, continues in Japan. We didn't get it all in English, which is understandable, kind of. Um, but yeah, I will read this at some point. The Way of the House Husband volumes 1 through 4. Uh, I haven't started that yet either, but I'm sure I will like it because my friend says it's really, really good. <laughs> um, Witch Hat Atelier, Atelier, I don't remember how to pronounce that. I've heard very many different pronunciations of that, um, but that's one through four. I haven't read that yet either. Grand Blue Dreaming. Uh, I don't believe in guilty pleasure uh, books, but if I had to pick a guilty pleasure book, it would be Grand Blue Dreaming. Should I like Grand Blue Dreaming? No. Do I like it? Yes. It's hilarious. And then down here I have my art book. So I have this slam dunk illustration book. I think this is the most recent one. It says two. So that's where that goes. And then the first one is right there, which I think got a reprint before this one came out. I believe. I believe. I could be wrong. Um, but I got both of those from 
um, Amazon Japan. And I have the Full Metal Alchemist one, um, Twisted Visions, Junji Ito one, the Haikyuu one, the big Haikyuu one, uh, which I love. It's really big. That's the Demon Slayer one there. I have the first six One Piece color walks. I used to buy those before they decided to release the big versions, um, which you will see later um, on the shrine. <laughs> And then I have Rohan at the Louvre, which technically isn't an art book, but it fits here the best. Um, you'll notice I don't own JoJo. I did used to own um, parts one through three of JoJo, but I like the anime better, so I don't own it. But uh, Rohan, Rohan at the Louvre is not in an anime format, I'm pretty sure. So I bought that. Um, and then Mud and Sludge by Kyu Hayashida. This is a Doro Hedoro art book, which I got recently, along with the Promise Neverland art book right there. And then more One Piece. Those are the One Piece magazines. Um, which are just like extra things. I don't know. It has lots of like interviews with people. Um, I just bought them because they are one piece <laughs> and they're really cool. And I love this pink. Um, but yeah, I think there's like 11 of these out in Japan now. So I'm probably not going to get any more, but I have them. They also have cool extras. Like one of them, a couple of them have bounty posters or whatever. Um, but I think I left those in the, uh, books. Uh, and then I have Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which I have not read and I really, really should read. And then the last thing on the shelf is my Akira box set, which I got for 120 bucks. Pretty good deal. <laughs> I have read Akira and I really like Akira. In fact, I read Akira before I watched the movie and then I watched the movie about a year ago and I was bored and then I was waiting for the stuff at the end to happen and then the anime just ended. The movie just ended, and I was confused. <laughs> uh, but I like the uh, manga. And then over here, I have the One Piece Shrine. <laughs> uh, yeah, along with my Japanese books down there, which I will talk about. Uh, yeah, this is a shrine. You can now see why I call it a shrine. Because uh, it is, pretty much. <laughs> Um, and this is the reason I can't fit my figures anymore. I could probably put them right there, but usually that shelf has a lot of junk on it. Um, and right now it doesn't because I cleaned it for this video. So I have volumes 1 through 95 of One Piece, along with the One Piece light novels about Ace. Um, I think there's only two of those, so I have those. Um, and then I have my Kiku figure right here because she's my favorite uh, demon goddess. <laughs> and I have Zoro because he's my favorite character. And I have all the Funko Pops. I really wish I could get the, like, flocked chopper one, but it costs, like, $30, and I don't want to pay that much for a Funko Pop. Um, but I have all these, and then I also have the Law and Ace one on another shelf um, with my regular books because they don't fit here. And I also don't like those characters more, uh, as much as these ones. So, uh, and then they decided to release new ones, so I don't know where I'm going to put those when they come out in May. Um, I'm going to have to find something somewhere to put them um that isn't this shrine um over here we have the viver card um like stat books or whatever this these are like a collection of little cards you can get that have um information about pretty much every character in one piece um you can see i have those that i haven't put in there yet but uh i can't read those because they're in japanese but it was one piece merch that i could own so i bought it <laughs> um this was actually really interesting to collect because um, all of these little um, collections of cards came out like two every one month. Um, so it was really interesting to collect those and put them all in this binder that I obviously haven't finished uh, putting in there. And then as more characters are introduced in the series, they can release more of these little uh, cards that you can put in your binders. Uh, so yeah. Back there is one of the One Piece novels. Uh, it's in Japanese. I can't read it, but it's there. Here is my most expensive figure I own, I think, except for maybe that carrot figure is more expensive, but this one's pretty expensive. This is the first figure I got. Um, so yeah, this is a Zoro figure. I have a little uh, Zoro and Chopper keychain that I bought because it's adorable. I'm sorry that the bottom of this is dusty, but uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite manga covers right there. And then I have Stampede, um this stampede poster thing that i got when i went to see the movie which i love seeing it in the theater was super cool um uh, remember when we went to go watch movies in the movie theater yeah me too um so and then there this is a little uh bookmark i got i think i got that with an extra for buying this keychain and i have a little pirate ship that has nothing to do with one piece except for the fact that it's a pirate ship so it kind of goes with the theme and then i have a little baby kiku uh, yeah, I love her to death. 
And then before we get to all this mess, <laughs> I have this little Luffy figure I got in a loot crate. Loot anime crate, I think. Um, yeah, it's pretty cheap, but whatever. And then I have the One Piece color walks that I was talking about earlier. The compendiums. I'm not sure when the next one of these is going to come out, but yeah. Um, and then here, here's my carrot shrine. <laughs> Uh, I love Carrot. She's my second favorite character, as you can probably tell, and I feel like I've taken it upon myself to collect all the Carrot merch, which is why I have so many Carrot things. <laughs> um, there is one Carrot keychain that I cannot get for the life of me. It has Carrot and Nami, um, but I will never get that because it was released a long time ago and it was exclusive or something, and I will never get it. But uh, if you're wondering why I have that... Um, volume cover back there um and what that light is if i do this it lights up and it probably doesn't look as good on camera but it kind of looks like the moon is glowing with this light so that's why i have that anyway so this is a i'll turn this off so you can see better um this right here is the mega house portrait of pirates carrot figure i believe i'm pretty sure that's what that one is and then this one is a cheaper band presto one that's like 25 bucks um, and I think I kind of like this one better. There's also another co uh, color variant, which had the blue and pink a little bit lighter, more pastel-y. But I couldn't justify buying two of the same figure that just have a tiny bit of color difference. <laughs> um, but for now, I have these two. And all these, these are little, I don't know what they're called. I don't know, world collectible figures, I think. Um, yeah. This one's my favorite. Uh, Carrot in uh, Wano is adorable. And yeah. I'm sure I'm going to get some type of comment for uh, this, but oh well, I don't really care. <laughs> I love Carrot, so yeah. And then, finally, this is the last part of this video, I think. Um, I have my Japanese manga, um, which recently doubled in size because of one reason. Uh, but first, I have my Zombieland Saga figures that I haven't put out yet because I don't know. Um, I kind of doubt that we're going to get all of these, all of the Zombieland Saga girls. But uh, I have these two. I'd rather have Saki and Lily. But for now, I have these two. And I'm glad to have them. Uh, and I'm also glad that season two is coming up because I freaking love Zombieland Saga. Okay. Uh, here is Hinamaru Sumo, volumes 1 through 28. Uh, complete in Japanese. They used to have this series up on the Manga Plus app, but the only way to read it was to read scans of like the, the beginning part and then catch up with the newly releasing chapters, which is what I did. Um, but this will never have an English release, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, but I really, really like it, so I wanted to own it. So now I have all of it. I bought those pretty recently, and the covers are always really, really cool. Let's see if I can... Oh, it's too tight for me to pull that out. But yeah, trust me, the covers are really cool. Um, this is The Promised Neverland, volumes 1 through 4. I bought that before, um, The Promised Neverland came out in English. Um, that's why I own those. Um, yeah. Haikyuu volumes 10 16 and 19 10 uh you saw earlier because it has suki on the front and then 16 and 19 um i bought i'm never gonna be able to get these back in here i bought them because they go together like that and i like that uh, i'll put those back later i have wanted which is like the prequel to one piece it's a bunch of short stories um about characters in the one piece world i believe this guy looks like Zoro with red hair, and this guy looks like Zoro with Luffy's mouth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't read this, obviously, because it's in Japanese and there's no English release. But maybe someday, since they're licensing some other One Piece content. And then I have a couple One Piece um, volumes. You saw volume 88 up there before. Uh, 61, maybe? I don't know what volumes these are, actually. <laughs> Um, but I just bought ones that I really like the covers of, and I like the Japanese volumes. I think I bought these before they came out in English. That's probably why I bought them. I haven't bought uh, Japanese manga in a while besides Hinamaru Sumo. I probably won't be collecting any more Japanese One Piece volumes because I don't need them because they come out in English. But I love this cover to death. Uh, Big Mom is seriously so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and then this volume I love as well because of this. Um, they Mike Wazowski'd Robin on the English cover, so I bought this because also it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful cover. And then this, I believe, is a One Piece uh, film gold manga adaptation, I think. 
Oh no, it's just characters. It's character designs for One Piece Film Gold. And then here I have two volumes of Vinland Saga because I'm so mad they didn't use these covers for the covers of a hardcover. I had to buy them in Japanese apparently. But this is volume 11 with a certain character on the front. And then volume 14, which is just beautiful. Come on. Come on. Look at his hair. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I have that. Seriously, I'm so mad they didn't use this cover. I'm very mad. <laughs> And then this is Shirokuma Cafe. I think, uh, I don't know where I got this, to be honest. I don't know why I have that. <laughs> um, but that's a pretty lackluster to the end, uh, end to this video. So that's my manga collection. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know, uh, if you have any thoughts on anything I talked about today. If I don't see at least four comments telling me how terrible of a person I am for not reading my manga, I will be disappointed. Um, but if you have any other thoughts, I'll take those too. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!